my name is Renata Bertez. I'm a textile artist and I'm based here in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. And um, I graduated in textiles a couple years ago and that's what I do for a living. And I create needle felting uh, workshops and needle felting kits. And I also work with natural dyes. So today we're gonna be doing those cute little hearts uh, inspired by the heart candies, the conversation candies uh, from the 80s, 90s. And I hope you guys have fun. So if you had the kit, uh, if you purchased the kit, uh, you got covered, so you have everything you needed. But if you don't, if you're joining us from far away, I'm gonna start you uh, presenting a couple of uh, tools that we have here. So first, uh, we'll start with the needles itself. So the kit, if you purchase the kit, you received uh, two of those needles here. And uh, they are very, very sharp. I don't know if you can see from there. And they have like little barbs. And that's what creates the felting process. So the movement of going up and down uh, multiple times in the same spot will kind of interlace the wool creating um, the felting. So there is a variety of tools in the market. That's the common tool that you see just the needle felted itself. Uh, we do have a couple needle holders that you can hold your needle to make things easier to felt. Uh, you have a little bit more, um, a little bit more modern of per se, like a, a easy way to felt so you can attach different needles, multiple needles to make your job easier and faster. Uh, this one, for example, I have four, and that's how I usually like to work. That just helps to speed the work, especially if the surface uh, is, is a large surface. Uh, but you also can make your own, like this one, I make this one. So I just put three as well. Um, you also have an owl that I usually use to poke um, very deep holes if I want to put eye in or to create an animal, but we're not going to be using that today. Um, darning needle, it's also good to have just uh, to be able to go through some things. And of course, um, the felting mat. Uh, the felting mat is basically a high density foam that you can purchase anywhere and you can make your own that's what i usually make but if you don't have it you just have a home like a sponge like that just a regular sponge you can also use that right so um another another tool that i like to use for needle felting is just those pat brushes this is really good to blend color. Uh, we not be you. I don't think we'll be using those today. But if I have two different colors, if I want to blend, I can use as a mini carder. So I will card the wool and I'll blend different colors uh, with those tools. And of course, we have the wool here, which is the wool. This is a core wool. So core wool means it's just different breeds of wool. They were carded together to create this fluff and uh, easier uh, material to work with. And the core wool, as the name just suggests, uh, doesn't have to be a refined uh, kind of wool. It just has to be something to create some volume. And that makes our work a little bit less expensive because this material is a little bit cheaper than the regular wool top that you see in the market. Uh, you can buy this anywhere in any fiber store as well. Um, we also have the merino top, which this one was hand dyed and uh, just create those colors so we can play around with the different colors of hearts. And uh, those are dyed with acid dyes and they are uh, merino tops. So very fine and nice wool to work with. It's great to use for needle felting or for wet felting. So this is easily found in the market as well. In any fiber store, uh, you'll be able to see some of those. Even Fabric Veal, they are um, now selling those needle felting kits or supplies that you'll be able to get those. So if you get the kit with me, you all you see here is the kit that you're seeing uh, that you have at home. Uh, needles as well. You have two needles in the kit. 
Um, if you like to purchase the needle and if you're in the Fredericton region uh, or even in Canada, just uh, send me a message later and then I can, um, I can send you some kit if you like. Uh, but you also can find this in any fabric store, any, any fiber store, sorry. So another thing that we're going to be using today, it's a little picture um, as a reference. So this one, I just took it from uh, online, just on a website. Um, I also purchased, as you could see in my um, Instagram uh, timeline, I purchased some candy too, but I just found uh, for us here, just for the sake of it, let's just use the picture because it's going to be easier for us to, to follow. So today we'll be using, it's going to be like a demonstration. We're going to be finishing one heart. Um, and then I'll be using this lettering to create the heart that we're going to be using today. And um, so the first thing that we're going to be doing now is, of course, talking about safety. Those needles are really, really sharp. I'm not <laughs> joking. I poke myself so many times and it really bleeds because it's like so fine and those barbs when they get in there they really get in there so my hands are just all poked but as a beginner uh even if you have experience it's very important for you to have to be focused on your work uh some people say they like to do watching tv i definitely don't recommend that especially if you're beginning, uh, because you really want to feel where the depth that the, the needle is going, the angle, all those factors um, are important to know, especially and be, be uh, careful and pay attention, especially if you're starting uh, this thing. Oh, hi, Alison. <laughs> um, so another other important thing is if you ever get cut, just uh, uh, clean it up fast because there is blood and this is a metal and you don't know if that will be touched with something else and sometimes it can get rusty so I always keep my needles in a little container like this so to prevent rusting and uh, another important thing children should be supervised all the time if they're working with those guys here uh, just because it's so easy to get poked and uh, again, attention all the time is very, very important. All right, so we go through uh, all the tools, safety, uh, uh, felting process. Uh, before we even start, I will just give you a little demo in how to use a needle properly. So the needle here, I'll try to get as close as possible. Um, the needle has a barbs, like a little gaps in here little grooves that that's what it makes the felting process uh, happen and they go usually one two three around this um around here i would say so like you have about like uh three quarters of inch almost like that so um this is very important so the needle should go all this way down into your work and into the mat so let's say if you're working this way so you go you poke the needle until here and then you you go out so the same angle that's going down you will go back uh, we don't do different angles going in one angle and leaving another angle because this creates a lot of resistance and bend the needle and this will create a uh, breakage, right? So you will break your needle and you don't want to do that. So it's very important, goes in, goes out in the same angle that you gone in. So we don't want to bend this or create any resistance. And you notice uh, as you felt, you will start to create those, um, it's gonna be a firmer body than you start, of course, because you're just compacting the wool. So I'm just going to show you one more time. So you go this way down and you leave it. This guy here, it's on the hard side because I already felt it. But I will show you uh, in the, in, when we start the heart itself um, how you should go. And you should go until uh, probably this section here to the groove. Right? So um, let's just uh, uh, stop with all the talking and let's just start it. So... First, if you have the material, 
I will just ask you to separate in four different sections. And the coral is like that. It's a little bit messy anyway. And you see there is um, some kind of like old, uh, dry hay in there, grass. Don't worry about it. That's not going to affect uh, the final result. So I'm just going to grab here uh, my felting uh, mat. And the way we're going to start, we're just going to make a little roll, right? But first, I will grab it here and then I will put as flush as I can to the mat and I will start to roll in itself very, very tight. I will create some pressure there and I'm going to continue to roll up and keep going and going. Just continue all the way. Uh, you're doing as tight as you can because you don't want to create any air pockets. So the air pockets, we kind of like, we make the felting process a little bit more harder than usual. So um, you see, I'm just rolling up and I kind of tucking in those guys here and doing this and just going all the way like that. So, and then you notice that's, uh, becoming like a little sausage or and then continue doing this and then when you until you're done and then once you're done you create like a u shape like this and then i will grab my needle and then i will start just to poke in here just to poke right here in the middle because i want to fix the space so that will create the heart shape. So as you can see here, it's kind of already a heart. So we're just gonna poke around again in the same thing. I go up, I go down, up and down, up and down. And I want to go all the way here, right? So I'm just gonna try to do this. So if I go like this, I go into here and out, in and out. And um, you, of course, you can work in different angles, but you don't do this and change the angle. You just uh, do it in and out. And then if you want to change the angle and then and the next time, and then you change the angle and go in and out, or you don't change the angle of the needle, but you change the location where you're poking. And then I'm poking here and then I'm moving the project, not the needle. So this way, will prevent you to break needles. So up and down, up and down, and again, until here, which is, that's the right length. And even if your mat is a little bit shorter and if you kind of like a, seeing the, the surface that you're working underneath, that's okay. Um, just uh, keep going and working all the way like this. And yes, um, if you have any questions, you can ask here. I will try my best to keep an eye on the comments below. And Allison, yes, I will be saving the live. And if you guys wanna try it out um, and watch it later, yes, we'll be saving here on Instagram and I will save the video and post it on Facebook too because I know there's some people that don't have Instagram will be also available on the Facebook page. Thanks for um, for that, for reminding me of that. So um, again, don't feel the pressure again well, that we're doing this today. Don't feel the pressure to uh, complete with me if you have the material kit. Uh, because like I said, the material, uh, kit will give you like at least four hearts there. So you can uh, do it on your own paste. So, and you have this video so you can watch other later. Um, if you want to go over the step by step. So again, just moving here and just because I want to finish, um, I want to finish the project at least one heart with you guys. So you'll be able to, uh, to understand uh, all the process from the beginning until the end. Um, I'm going to be moving. I have some pre-made um, hearts in, in different stages. So we can all follow along and you'll see it. All right. So 
this is kind of a, now when I stop and I do my uh, squeezing test. So you can see how fast was it. It's not even a minute that I've been doing this. And it's kind of a firm already. You can uh, cannot tell probably <laughs> from the camera, but it's I seeing uh, some resistance already. And this is just wool. There is no other feeling than wool. So it's getting there. Uh, of course, it needs a little bit more work and uh, it kind of has the shape already. So another trick that I would like to share with you, especially for you guys that already got the two needles. So uh, it's just kind of a homemade uh, version of those guys here. And, um, and you can make for uh, pretty much no money. I'm just going to try to find here um, something that's like same... Um, same size for us here and oh and for those who are a little bit more um ahead of the game that they know a little bit so there is three different kinds there are many different kinds of needles this is just a regular uh barb needle and i'm using the 36 which is um the size 36 and the way it goes is the 36 is for the harder work or for the phrase one, as I like to do. Uh, but it, it as you go 36, 38, uh, the 38 to kind of do all the job anyway. 36 does the same. But if you go to 40 or even higher, you get more uh, detail work. So for those who really like detail, if you're working... Uh, on a project that needs more detailing, I would suggest you to get some um, number 40 or something like that. Um, for the for the, for the lettering, this one is okay because there's not many details in here. It's just kind of like straight lines. But if I'm making, I don't know, a portrait or a face of someone that needs like really, really good details, I will be moving up on the needle and I would be doing other stuff. So, uh, so what I'll be uh, doing here, welcome for those who just joining, uh, join us. So we are just making the felting heart and I just uh, sharing my trick. So you can create like a uh, double needle felting needle and uh, make your work faster. So you just keep going with that. So now you notice because of two needles, um, there is a little bit more um, resistance in there. But because it's felting, it's just the needle spoking two different places, you will get your uh, job done faster than uh, if you would do with one needle. So I would just pay attention again, even more now, because you have two sharpened objects just going very close to your hand and your fingers. So just be careful, you guys. Please be careful. So no, this one is just the one that, uh, this one is not uh, made. I mean, it's just, uh, we're just uh, starting those. Um, but this one is kind of a, um, a pre-made one that I just, I did a little earlier just to show you guys. So you see the will um, decrease the size. So you get smaller as you make the wool more compact. So you see, you notice there is a different in size uh, as you felt. Right, so uh, if you keep going, so you will get to this stage here, right? Which that's what we want. And if I do like a squeeze test in here, you notice that it's way more um, harder than the first guy. Okay, so... That's the trick for tonight. Um, so we will be starting to now to cover um, our heart. Again, it can be with any color you like. Oh, hi, Scott. Hi, Alex. Um, and we will start to do um, the covering part. Some people just to put it like that and start to uh, needle felt over it. I honestly don't like that because it doesn't give a, a good coverage. So what we're going to do it here, um, I'm going to grab just a little bit of wool, just like that. It doesn't have to be much. 
And oh, and before I go ahead, um, those guys here um, usually is around four grams. There is not much in here. Uh, for those guys that receive the kit, you already have kind of a already pre-weight uh, and you have like a total to make four hearts. But for you, if you want to have a reference, this is about four grams of wool and after felted, you get that compact. So moving on to this part here, we are going to start to, I'm just going to grab this because it's going to be faster, to felt it and create like a felt cover for our heart. So the way I'm going to be doing it again, just felting like that. That's just fine. But what I'm going to be paying attention in here, and you see, you will get like felting fat felted very fast. So I would just be careful to kind of peel it off every couple seconds and turn it over. And again, just three more. Um, no, Alison, I they are a little bit bigger than a toonie. They will probably be about an inch and a half in in um in yeah, I believe so. With like that, like about an inch and a half, two inches. So they are pretty big size. So you can see here on the palm of my hand, my hand that's the size that is the, the heart. But as you can see here, this one is a little bit smaller and it gets bigger because I will add the extra layer of the wool. So it will get bigger as well. So again felt a little more and you see here that I'm not felting the edges I'm kind of felting just the middle here I'm doing this on a purpose because I want to be able to blend the edges with the other uh, with the next layer so you won't be too unnoticeable so now that I have this you know very fine like felted piece uh we'll make an even coverage like that so we we'll have we won't have like a lot of a uh, uh wool hair just poking around because i did this pre-felting like stage in here so things that will bet will be smoother and will be a nicer finishing all right so in here i will just start to kind of i will poke in here on this side just to start to cover the first side and again move the heart not then do not bend the needle and because those guys here are um, more resistance and more pressure and because the heart it's already um, felted in a way that's really thick you notice as you get thicker, you the needle will encounter more resistance, and and then for that reason, you won't be able to go all the way through, which is fine as long as you get like a, between the the second and the third bar, it's okay. You just like a, be more careful while you're doing it, and you'll be able to get uh, that the deep as you can get. But as you get harder, of course. Um, the needle won't be able to go um, as deep as you used to be. So don't worry as you get to that stage and you see that your heart is really um, thick and, and that they're creating that resistance. Don't force too much because that will also create some breakage there, right? And then you see here, so this part is very loose, but that's okay. We just kind of... Uh, just felting, just keeping it in place. And that will make a nice um, transition from this area to the next area. And then you see here, there is something, uh, there is a little bit more uniform with the color as well. So there we go, we just kind of keep going. And I'll show you this one more time. 
just like grab this amount really is not much um just because it's such a little heart i don't want to do too much and then you see like i'm probably not gonna be even spend all this white there is a lot of white in uh, i'm sorry in, uh, all this yellow so i won't be needing to to spend all that because it really that's what it takes it doesn't take much to cover all the heart so if you got the kit you have some extra to play with something else Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you can buy them if you like. Um, if you want to buy the heart, yeah, just message me later. Um, and we can definitely <laughs> work something out. No problem at all. All right, so um, we're doing pretty good in time. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions about the process itself. And I'm just going to be doing it with one because you're probably guys doing it with one as well. So just to show you, like, you can even just go all the way here, again, changing the direction of the heart, not the angle of the needle, because you want to prevent the bending. Right, so, we're kind of doing pretty good in here. Um, if you just hop in, this tutorial will be saved in Instagram and I will be sharing on Facebook as well. I will try to save to, I will download the video and I'll post in there in case um, you want to watch there too. Um, just gonna, this is just basically keep going with, uh, with the heart until you're done. So once you're done, um, have a little guy here just to show you. Uh, you're probably going to find um, some areas that you didn't cover properly and you did have some gaps and you still can fix that. That's totally fine. I'll just grab just just a bit, very, very fine. And what I'm going to be doing is kind of like a little patch in there. And I will just loosely kind of felt in here just to make sure that I'm first getting the right spot and after i will be felting a little more there just to make sure everything is felted in place so so yeah so let me know in the comments if you have any questions But I'm basically just kind of showing now how to patch if you have something that um, has a little gap in there and you need to take care of it. And you kind of brush, you can brush a little bit with your, um, with your needle and you just felt a little more in there. And then you get all the area just covered. And I apologize for my hands, which are terrible. I just uh, burned one of my hands <laughs> in here. So I got a little scar from yesterday. But my hands are usually like that. If they are not, they don't have scars. They are covered with dye. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah, Sandra. Um, so probably you are uh if you are it seems flatter than you than mine it you probably felt a little too hard or you didn't put much in there but what you can do you can just felt in the other uh sides for example if it's felt in it's in here it's in the center that is too flat i would just have felt on the sides so you grab you put it on the side like this and start to felt in here. So overall, everything is going to be um, a little bit more like smaller. But that's okay because you have a lot of wool to cover with the color wool. 
So the core wall is basically just to get hard enough that it won't be um, pulling apart, falling apart. So yeah, I think it should be good. If you feel that's like a uh, really flat, I would just start to just to kind of felt on the side. Just go on the edges all around, just like that. And what I also do, I would kind of just uh, give a little squeeze in here, just squeeze on the edges here and start to felt like that. And just felt on the sides all the way. Just go all around in here and really be sure to felt in here in the middle to create the groove of the heart. But if it's in that stage, if you feel that's a little flatter, that's flat than a uh, mine, you can uh, even uh, uh, add a little bit more of white, but you will have enough in the collar to just feel and to cover all the, um, to get to the size again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's um, it's not that I'm that fast, Jody. Is more because um, it's because I already have a pre-made um heart, right? So that's kind of the one that I started. Uh, again, please, <laughs> you can do it on your own pace, and because I have some experience, so it's gonna be a little faster than usual. But I would do just uh. Take your time and really pay attention in the movement of your hands so you won't be um, hurting yourself. That's very important. And also uh, the movement of the needles just going into the felt like that, right? So just going inside and out so you won't be bending. Oh, sorry to hear it didn't make it on time, but um, I hope we'll get it soon. And I'm glad you found something else to kind of work uh, with that. So yeah, just, um, yeah, let me know if it, it, uh, if you didn't get in, in a week or so, but hopefully you get the kit on, um, in a week or so, and I can't wait to see uh, pictures when you guys are, have it done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of stopping, just kind of like reading the comments. And um, so I already show you kind of how to cover everything. And uh, if you have any gaps, you can also do that. So we will be moving on if you guys are okay, if you don't have any other questions until now. Um, I we're going to be moving on to the next step, which is um, kind of uh, just uh, use as a reference um, for our uh, lettering work. So as you can see here, um, I'm just using this picture. Again, can be any picture. Or if you have the candies, you can also follow along with the candies. Um, so I just chose this one because it will be a faster way to do it. But... Like the other examples, you can do in two line work or you can do one line work like the way we're doing tonight. And, um, and so, yeah, so what I like to do uh, to use as a reference, it's first to find, um, so that's the, the center of the heart, right? So that's what, that's going to be my guideline. So we'll have the main center and then I'll have the left section I'll also have a center here and then on the right section I'll also have another center so what I like to do I like to even just to kind of give an extra felting section in here so I will know that's my center and I would do the same thing in here and then I would do another one on the very um, very half of the heart so now we have two options so for extra materials that we're going to be using tonight it is 
that I forgot to mention at the beginning, it can be a Sharpie or even those like a dry eraser, like a dry erase, um, I think sewing um, pens, but not necessarily. I actually like the Sharpie itself because I can see exactly where it is. And as you felt, it's not going to... I mean, it's gonna. It's not gonna be permanent enough because it kind of can pull it off the, um, the hair there, and it, it's just fine. So I'm kind of just using this as a reference. So I'm seeing here, um, the first axe is gonna be like right, on the almost uh in the beginning of the the center, and then you have the O, and then you have the other axe O, and they are located a little bit more on the. Um, center top then this not totally centered uh, with the heart so that's what i'm going to be using here um if you really trust your eye if you don't want to use a sharpie that's okay by me um you can do it so that's totally fine but if you want to use like as a lot of reference you can go ahead which that's what i usually do and because i'm going to be using red to uh, create the, the lettering, I'm not really bothering with that. So, um, so I'm gonna create here a little X and it's loosely, um, just very loose, it doesn't have to be all the way. So it's just a, a reference. So you will have something to work with, like a guideline. So I would do like a little O like that. Again, another X, and you're gonna refine this as you finish your work. As you felt, you have more freedom to to work. So you can see here that's um. I mean, I'm satisfied pretty close, right? What it is in the picture. So I'm good with that. So for the lettering, it's like really, really almost nothing. Um, piece of wool that you grab at first just like that and what I'm gonna be doing I will just roll it in my hands just like that so what it does it kind of does a little bit like pre felting and um, also help everything stay in place and you have like a clear uh, image of what you're doing so I'm just rolling it just like that and because we have a natural oil in our hands this also helps us to to get the felting process a little faster there so you can see here that's uh it's getting there and you can see with just a little bit of wool how dark and how um, clear you can get right it's a very strong color and it's going to be great on yellow sorry just getting a little a sip of water here okay so if you had my little trick from before that's the time for you to remove and just work with one needle. So that's what I want to be, um, especially for laddering, is such a delicate work. So I'll just remove that and use one of those. So what I want to be doing here is use as your guideline just to uh, put as close as you can as you have in there. And felt the first one just a little bit deeper there so you really want to place and make sure that you're getting um is that staying there so then i will just again really careful with the other uh, fingers just go just gonna change in here there we go So if you felting along, I would, um, I know that I kind of like I skipped, I didn't do all the way, but you probably by the, by now, you probably be pretty good with the thickness. Uh, if you did the felting, uh, you probably want to be moving on to the coverage 
or even um, to start to create your own design on your heart. Because by now, it's probably you'll be felting probably more than 10 minutes now. And for this size, it's you should be more than enough. So you should be ready to either cover it and, or even start to follow uh, the lettering. Um, so how are you guys doing? You guys are following along? Are you guys okay? Well, let me know if you have any questions or if something's happening that you, it looks a little bit different than mine. So, um, so with the scissors, I'm just going to cut when I'm satisfied, like where I want to go. I usually leave a little bit like a longer tail there because as I felt, it's uh, going to start to going deeper and deeper. And this extra will go there and you won't be able to see it. So in here, what I kind of like to do, I don't go totally all the way down because if I go all the way down you kind of lose a little bit detail but what I do I just go like a little bit like 45 uh, angle again if you go in 45 it's going out 45 and just slightly go multiple times back and forth to create the X okay so I'm not hearing anything from anyone. Uh, I'm assuming you guys are doing great. But again, let me know if you need anything, okay? So I'm just doing the same thing, just rolling on my hand again. Just make sure that I have everything right. And placing here. And I, once you kind of place the first, um, the first part, it's easier to kind of keep uh, things, everything straight. So I'm just make sure that the first one is really secure. And then I just create a little pressure there to make sure that everything is good there. And then I do the very end. And on the center, and then I just play along doing the going all the way back and forth. Right. So we're cutting the excess here. There you go, that's not too bad. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Thank you for your comment. Appreciate that. I'm glad you're here. All right, so we are keep it going here. And again, just secure the first spot. And you kind of play along. So yeah, Allison, thank you for asking. Um, yeah, I really started to felting not a long time ago. Um, as I mentioned it, I graduated from the craft college here in Fredericton. And um, yeah, so that's when I actually found out of any sort of felting. So I just got amazed by what you can do. I start with wet felting and I just love wet felting and I do have a lot of 
work in Matt Felty. But lately, just because of COVID and after I graduated, my studio is not huge. So I have a home studio now. So I don't have like a proper uh, facility to work with wet felting. Uh, although I still do a lot of wet felting, I just, um, yeah, I just don't have the whole thing. So I started to do needle felting, which I really enjoyed. And what I like about needle felting is just the sculptural aspect you can get like crazy with needle felting you can do all sorts of work and it's very clean and very mobile too like you can go anywhere you can go to a trip and just like take your mini kit there and uh, do what you want to do and create art create work so that's what i like about needle felting um I've been doing some soft sculptures uh, for a while now. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my cat. So I'm really into cats and I love needle felting. And, um, and that's how I start to create um, the needle felted cats. And But of course, um, other things like the Christmas ornaments, all that stuff. Really enjoy to, to have this um, sculptural aspect. That needle felt gives me like creating 3d is really amazes me and with wool which is something that's so fluffy and it can get that hard so i just really really enjoy to to work with um thank you for the question that was great so yeah so we are moving along here uh we're almost I think I will stay here probably um, probably some more 10-15 minutes. Um, we're almost done uh, with the laddering anyway. So I will try to get faster here. And I will show you what we can do with those hearts. And um, hopefully you have the majority of the things at home. And um, so you can make yourself a little treat or you can give to someone just in time for a uh, valentine's day yeah this guy it's a little bit on the light side that's okay so we're just gonna go back and forth so create an extra line there Again, same angle coming in and out. Right. Thank you so much, Heather, for stopping by uh, and for um, joining us. Again, no worries. Um, you do what you got to do. And I hope you uh, watch the rest of the class. Uh, and we'll be saving here. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so we almost done in here. All right. And just the other O. Again, same trick. Just roll on the palm of your hand. Probably going to get a little bit more here. Right. So if you like to know more about other needle felting um, goodies that are coming up, 
feel free to sign up for our newsletter the link it's below my bio it's right there and um i don't usually send a lot of stuff in there but uh usually send some uh sales some announcements uh some workshops are coming up so um some of the big news that i'm gonna share tonight is uh we will be running our online workshop uh natural dye workshop uh with the shibori techniques uh, using natural dyes um, in partnership with AG Center in Success and is going to be on March 24th and um, April, March 24th, oh, I'm sorry, March 27th and April 10th. So that will be two Saturdays and will be a live workshop and uh, you can have the information on the site of X and stay tuned because I'll be posting this, the details and how to sign up, uh, materials, uh, everything. It's included in a workshop, the materials I'll be sending to you and uh, we'll be able to follow along and we'll, we'll be having a second meeting. Uh, well, will be able to showcase your work and also um, take any, um, just make questions. If you have any questions, just um, we'll also have that. So it's going to be a two-day workshop. The first day, uh, we'll be going through the process, the recipes, step-by-step. Step. So we'll be following along with me all the time. And then we'll have a break between the first week and the second week. And so you can try on your own pace and with the materials that were supplied. And we uh, go back on the next week. And um, on the final week, we'll be able to talk and share the work. And if you have any questions, you'll be able to, I'll be able to answer them. So yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so so that's the the kind of the final result, our little heart. Every heart's unique, and you see here, like this guy is a little bit flat than this one, but that's fine because that's your work. So, and uh, if that's your first time, don't be disappointed. It's like that. We always learning every time I make a heart, or it uh, comes out in a different way. So. But we'll be good with that. That's that's uh, totally fine. So it's always learning, right? So that's the picture and that's the heart. It's uh, not too bad to uh, be doing on the fly. And of course, um, needle felt is kind of addictive. So I could be in here all night long just to kind of perfecting and get better. Uh, but we don't have time for that. So I um, want to share with you a couple ideas. So the first idea could be a little keychain, which will probably have uh, um, materials at home. So it can be any ribbon, can be anything really, a thread or even like a golden thread like that. That's totally fine. If you have like a thread which is uh, fine enough to go through a needle, um, you can use any size of needle and you just go there and um, go through the heart. And this one is a darning needle and it's just big because I am using this kind of a ribbon in here. But again, any kind of needle that uh, fits this um, thread, it's okay. Um, if you have an owl at home, you can use to create the hole. But if you don't, that's fine too. You just have to use your needle like that just to go careful just go all the way this kind of this guy is a there we go so you just go back and forth so it kind of create a little bit of and um, and you or you can use the darning needle too that works okay I actually don't need that large of needle to go um, through with that, but that's fine. just to, just to show you. Um, just do a little uh, knot in there. 
And then what I like to do after I do my knot, um, I really make sure it's tight. And um, what I do, I go through and I leave the knot inside. So you kind of have a clear, nice um, keychain charm. And, and then, of course, you just go with the, the little keychain there. I don't need exactly to show you this, but it's just kind of a, to illustrate. There we go. And you can make any size, I mean, any length. This is a little bit, I guess, a little bit long, but that's fine. That's just to show you. So the second thing is like that I'm using any pin clothing there, like any safety pin, you have it. There you go. You just make your heart into a brooch. So, um, yeah, so basically you just have to insert in here and then it's just pretty. It's not going to be too, um, too hard anyway to poke. Just poke inside and after. And you made yourself a cute little brooch. And that's going to be really cute too. And the third one, which is a kind of involved um, some uh, hot glue gun and um, some magnets. So you can get this really anywhere. Dollar store sells them, Michaels, anywhere. So it's just a little uh, magnet button that I just glue it here with a hot glue gun. And, um, and then you have it. So those are the three different ones, three different options. Oh, actually, yeah, uh, three different options um, that I have to show you. And uh, that's, what we, um, that's what we have for today. But before you go, I just want to show you um, also launching this month um, the kit for if you like needle felting or if you tried today and if you're really enjoying it. Uh, what we're doing, uh, we do have those needle felting kits that we're just launching this month. Those are the needle felting succulents and the cactus. And we also, that's the uh, aloe vera, and that's actually the, the succulent. And those are the ones that are just launched, and I'll have on the website uh, tomorrow if you like to take a look. So it comes with everything. It comes also with the video, so we have uh, exclusive access to a video when I'll be showing you step by step how to make those. All material, the nice little ceramic vase there as well. And there are three different options. So we'll have, you can buy the three kits or you can buy one kit. It doesn't matter. And each kit will teach you a different um, type of plant. And for um, the one, the next one coming up, that would be the little bunny, which is the Easter one. So this one, I will be hosting a live video again, a live class. So you have the opportunity to go with me and we will we'll be um, doing a uh, bunny for, for Easter. So I hope you guys enjoy the class. Um, this class again will be saved in Instagram and I will also be downloading the video and I'll be sharing on Facebook. Um, if you enjoyed this course, uh, this free class, um, please just share with your friends, uh, and I would love to see some pictures. If you want to tag me after you are done, I would love to see what you guys get, uh, what you got, what you accomplished with this class. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to message me later. And, uh, yeah. Seven o'clock, you guys, right on a dot. I guess we did a wonderful job <laughs> just uh, um, just following along. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for staying with me uh, all the way. <laughs> uh, thank you, Maria, uh, for staying with me all this time. And again, class will be saved. If you want to watch and re-watch again, please do it so. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, you have a great one.